Today's tip comes from a great question that I got from one of my students. He wanted to know how can you take an otherwise regular t-shirt design and add this vintage, well-worn, distressed kind of look to it. Adding this distressed look is a great way of adding some texture and interest to an otherwise flat and bland design. If you do a Google search for distressed t-shirt designs, you can see that this distressing can be very, very intense, or it could be a little bit more subtle. And so what we want to do is to be able to control the amount of distressing that we're working with. Now I'm going to be working in Illustrator because all great t-shirt designs should be vectorized at some point. And the first thing you can do is to try to find a font that already has the distressed look that you're going for. There's lots of great ones out there and especially if your t-shirt design only has text, it's a great quick way of, of getting the effect that you want. What we want to do is to create our own custom distressed look for the overall design that we have. To do this, we need to find that crackled, vintage, well-worn texture. So I'm going to jump back into Google and we'll do a search for grunge texture. This is the kind of thing that we're looking for, especially if it's high contrast, black and white. We want to add this texture to our design and you can see there's lots of different types of uh, textures to, to pull this from. You can get it from metal, from wood, from parchment. Uh, other things you can look for are distressed textures and this will give you these kinds of images. Now if you want to create your own images and you don't want to steal from another website, you can go out and take a photograph of either worn and weathered wood or concrete or metal or take a piece of paper, crumple it up, uncrumple it and then go over it with a piece of charcoal and a pencil. When you scan it in, it'll give you this kind of look and feel as well. Simply play around with it. Another thing you can do if you want to get some images that you can reuse is open up Google search tools and search for them that are labeled for reuse. And so these are images that people are okay with you working with. Let's say I liked this image. It's a good, well-worn, distressed wood type of image. I want to copy it directly from here, paste it in, it's a good size, good quantity, quality of a picture, but now we need to vectorize it and see the black and white areas of it. With it selected, we'll go up to Image Trace, clicking once. It may take a few seconds, but Illustrator is going to look for the lights and darks and re-vectorize it. Now, right now, the default setting is about a 50-50 mix, but if I wanted to go even further, open up your Image Trace panel. Here we are. And now we can adjust the threshold. By bringing the threshold down, this will make our image much lighter. And you can see I get a little less texture. I can bump it up and get the sweet spot, get the just amount of image, just amount of texture that we want to, to create. I think right there looks pretty good. Let's see how it renders. That's great. Another tip to know is that if you open up your advanced panel, you can tell it to ignore white and that'll keep just the dark areas and turn the white into transparent. And now we can actually see the uh, image that's below it. We'll close out our image trace if we've got what we like. And the final thing that we need to do is we need to be able to edit this. If you do an image trace, it's going to do a special kind of vector that's difficult to change up. So we need to click on the expand button. And now we get our actual vector lines and vector objects. By default, it is set to black and white, or just in this case, solid black. So I, but since I expanded it, I'm going to turn the color of this into the color of my t-shirt background. Once I do this, now you can see the vector texture start to appear on top of my design. Since it's its own object, I can move it around and place it wherever I want to and change up the texture. So let's say I didn't want it to run directly across the E or I wanted to make it smaller. You can even take several different images and layer them up and give more or less vector imagery or uh, vector distortion distressing to your image itself. So have fun and play around with this. It's a great, great simple technique. I want to see it used in yours. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and leave me a comment if you have any questions. Y'all have a great day.